Today, we're diving into some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming One UI 7. This is Samsung's next major software upgrade, expected to enhance performance, efficiency, and overall experience on Galaxy devices. Early benchmarks are already giving us a glimpse into what One UI 7 can do. So let's take a look at the performance, potential updates, and rollout schedule for Galaxy devices. Samsung is preparing to kick off beta testing for One UI 7 in mid-November 2024, with Android 15 as the base for this new update. Although the official release may still be a few months away, we're already seeing early signs of performance improvements, and it looks promising. Now let's talk numbers. One of the highlights comes from the Galaxy S23 series, where early benchmarks show impressive gains. Recently, the base Galaxy S23 model running Android 15 with one UI 7 was spotted on Geekbench, scoring 2109 in single core and 5555 in multi core tests. These scores are higher than what we see in previous software versions, hinting that One UI 7 could bring some serious performance boosts to Samsung's latest devices. Now keep in mind that these numbers are from early builds, so while they offer us a preview, they don't necessarily mean that beta testing has started. But if this is the kind of performance improvement we're seeing on the base Galaxy S23 model, just imagine what the Galaxy S23 Ultra could do with One UI 7. But it's not just the Galaxy S23 lineup gearing up for One UI 7. Samsung has also been testing this update on older devices, including the Galaxy S21 series. Recently, the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition, or FE, joined the lineup on Geekbench, running Android 15 with One UI 7. This means the entire Galaxy S21 series, including the S21, S21 Plus, S21 Ultra, and now the S21 FE, are all being prepped for this major update. This is exciting because Samsung is ensuring that a wide range of devices will have access to the new features and enhancements of Android 15 and One UI 7.0. As for the rollout schedule, Samsung hasn't confirmed exact dates, but here's what we're likely to see. The Galaxy S21 series will probably receive the update in stages with the base, plus, and ultra models getting it first. The fan edition might follow a few days later. This staggered approach isn't uncommon for Samsung, especially with rolling out major updates like this. So if you own a Galaxy S21 device and are looking forward to One UI 7, there's a good chance your device will get Android 15 soon after the beta phase concludes. Speaking of beta testing, if you're someone who loves to be on the cutting edge, Samsung will likely open up beta testing for select Galaxy devices. The Galaxy S21 series, especially the base models, will probably be included in this. It's unclear if the fan edition will be eligible for the beta right away, but non-FE models should be part of the early test runs. So that's the latest on One UI 7, performance improvements, benchmarks, and Samsung's potential update plans. It's exciting to see Samsung working hard to bring Android 15 and One UI 7 to a wide range of devices, and based on these early benchmarks, it looks like we're in for a faster and smoother experience. What are your thoughts? Are you looking forward to One UI 7? And do you plan on joining the beta if it's available for your device? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more updates, and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Catch you in the next video. Peace out. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The action button. 
which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's 18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, 
offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.